This is a story of future when everything is modern and advanced. The things around are AI for humans' facilities that will assist humans with everything. AI means artificial intelligence, which is an advanced technology made by computerized systems. As the robots used to do your all tasks, they are able to do all this because they are machines that work like robots. No matter what the task is in human life, they will make it possible. Now we see a girl, the main character of this story named Rachel in this advanced world. Everything in her house was AI, who checks the whole house and even Rachel and tells her that everything is fine and her health is also fit. After it, Rachel gets ready for the office. When she goes to the office, we discover that she is also a worker in a company that makes AI machines. She is on a good post. We see her husband at home who is a scientist who researches on plants and grows them. But because everything is advanced, that's why his this task is also done by AI. Rachel's husband has planted many plants in his house with the help of AI and has made a greenhouse. He was free because of AI, so now he starts teaching at a college, but he wasn't habitual of this advanced world he was habitual of doing his tasks on his own and doesn't feel good when AI does his tasks. Rachel was in another office and a meeting was going on and she tells everyone that her team has made another AI. It is similar to an I in that it is now learning from people to think and make decisions, since in the future it will work for people as an assistant or advisor giving humans guidance in any good or negative way. A worker becomes surprised to hear this and says these are all the tasks that should be done by humans. If AI continues to do all the tasks instead of humans, they will take humans' place and will do humans' jobs. The humans will be totally free. What will we do then? Unemployment will rise. Hearing this, the senior says nothing like this will happen. They are made to help us not to replace us. The humans will remain at their place. Rachel was going to her office when the meeting overs, and her boss calls her. She says you are working good for the last two years. We are thinking to promote you. But before promotion, we want to know about your family. That are you planning to increase your family? Means to get a baby. Rachel becomes astonished to hear it. That what is the concern of the promotion with having a baby? She says, no, we didn't think about it yet. On it, her boss says, I ask this because our company is getting benefit because of you. You are doing well, and I don't want you to take vacations when you will plan a baby. It is important for you to be regular at work. But we also have another solution. If you want to plan a baby saying this, she gives her contact number of an artificial womb center where babies are delivered artificially. The baby grows in an artificial womb like the baby grows in mother's womb. It is like the process of birth. Rachel goes to the center and becomes happy to know and watch everything because now she also wants to be a mother. She also writes her name there because the artificial womb isn't available all the time, but is arranged on orders by a family. The next day, Rachel gets a call from the center, and she was told that an artificial womb is arranged for her hearing this. She becomes happy because now she will get a baby. Rachel's husband was in the college and plucks a fruit from a tree for students to eat, but none eats it because it grew on the tree naturally, not because of AI. Here we understand that they are so lost in AI and forget the nature. Rachel tells her friend about the artificial birth, and she becomes happy to hear this and decides to party. But Rachel says, I didn't tell my husband about it because he believes to get things naturally, even in this advanced era. He doesn't like to get things like this because he believes in nature. She was thinking this, but then thinks to visit her doctor. He was none other than but an AI doctor and was looking like a huge eye. Rachel asks, how can I get baby through artificial womb? Because my husband wants all this, naturally means he wants me to get pregnant and deliver a baby. The AI doctor says, make your husband understand because there is nothing natural in this era. This shouldn't matter to you that how the baby is born just celebrate that you are going to be parents. After it, Rachel decides to tell her husband everything. She moves to talk to him when he returned home in the evening. But she finds her husband worried and he also tells Rachel his problem that today, the students didn't eat the tree fruit. Don't know what time has come, the people moved far from nature. Hearing this, Rachel changes her mind and doesn't tell him anything for now. She goes to the womb center the next day, and there were many other ladies meanwhile. The womb center's head. Linda comes and says we open this center because of the less birth rate, and we want to help lades while inventing this way, so that there will not be any problem in baby birth. Saying this, she shows them a pod capsule that was looking like an egg. The baby will be inside it and will grow within nine months. It will grow inside it. When the time of baby birth comes, the pod capsule is given to his parents later. She says connect to the baby while talking to him or by singing song and can also try to kiss. Further, she tells how to feed the baby. And now because they are parents, 
so they can take the pod capsule home. The purpose to tell them this was that the whole process is same, like real, so there is no need to be panic. Linda asks Rachel to pay the fees if she wants to continue this process, but she says I need some time for this so that I can talk to my husband. After it, she makes her mind and tells her husband everything while reaching home, that she needs a baby through artificial womb because she wants to pay attention on her career and can't have baby naturally. Hearing this, her husband feels bad because he was against this method. And secondly, Rachel has taken this decision alone. She says I am compelled because this is connected to my promotion they start arguing on this. Then Rachel controls her anger and apologizes to him and says we should meet one of my friend because she too had an artificial birth. We will also do it if everything is fine for her, her husband agrees. They reach Rachel's friend home and her friend's husband starts making them understand how they can carry baby anywhere in the artificial womb. Seeing this, Rachel's husband feels strange. Then he comes home and tells Rachel I can't make this decision in a rush, at least, it's the matter of a baby. Rachel says talk to my AI doctor, it will tell you right. On her saying, her husband talks to the AI doctor, but he got into an argument, so he leaves. At night, they talk about the affects of advanced world on the human's life that humans don't do anything because of AI. And like this, they will become lazy. Rachel's husband realizes at night and says, I know that you are doing all this for our family if you are happy in baby's artificial birth, so I agreed to this. Finally, he agrees for this. The next day, they go to meet Linda and she says, if you want a baby boy, we need more help from you, means you both have to give us something from your body. But Rachel says we don't necessarily need a boy. Whether it will be a baby boy or girl, we will leave this on nature. After it, the birth process of their baby starts and they are shown this on screen. Everything was fine. They will get the baby after nine months and they become happy thinking this. Now Rachel tries to connect with the baby through the app told by Linda. She sees a few weeks past but the baby's growth isn't much and she becomes worried. At night, she sees a dream while sleeping in which she sees that she is pregnant and has delivered a baby, but that wasn't a baby but an egg. This dream seems strange to her, so she tells this to her AI doctor. It says your dreams means that you are going to be a mother in real. Otherwise, dreams aren't connected to our real life, so don't pay much attention to it. Now six weeks passed and they see in the womb center that their baby's heart is beating and this makes them happy. Then Linda allows them to take the pod capsule at their home to get attached to the baby. Reaching home, Rachel's husband sees his baby on the screen for the first time and realizes today that their baby is coming and he becomes happy to be a father. He start connecting with the baby. He tells him stories, takes him to his greenhouse. But Rachel couldn't connect with all this because she was feeling that she will lose the feeling or emotion of being pregnant while having a baby like this. She sees a pregnant lady when she goes to take bath in the pool. She places Rachel's palm on her belly and realizes how a pregnant woman feels. Seeing her, Rachel feels good for her, but now she was regretting on her decision. They go to the womb center to take more training about their baby, and they see that a few young kids are brought there they were studying but were not writing themselves and asking the AI robots to write. The robots were writing, Seeing this, few of the parents were surprised. Meanwhile, a boy standing there asks that his nephew was born through artificial pod, but there is a strange thing that he didn't dream till today. Linda says, yes, this is from our side. We have put limitation on few things of those babies so that they will not do those tasks but soon we will remove those limitations. Rachel used to stay worried all the time while thinking that did she take any wrong decision? This was also affecting her job. The work she was doing before while inventing her AI has slowed down. This can also be the reason for her lose, because her boss gets this report through which it seemed like someone is passing time or doing hard work. Rachel's husband takes his baby at college and was happy about it, but then his senior tells that they have to give a lot of money because of his greenhouse, so he has to stop this work. Hearing this, he becomes furious and returns home. Rachel was upset that her husband is connected with the baby, but not she now to get their answer. They go to their AI doctor. Rachel tells her problem, but because it was an AI, so it couldn't understand human emotions, that what does it mean to connect with someone? That's why it says, I think there is something wrong with the baby, so I should treat him so leave the baby here for a few days, so that I will get connected with the baby and will try to understand that why is this happening. Now they understand that it is an AI, so it isn't understating their emotions and doesn't have our answer thinking this, they leave. Rachel's husband says there isn't anything to worry, just spend time with the baby, then you will get connected, thinking this. Rachel ties the pod with her belly, then goes to office like this, but she forgets that a pod is tied in front of her and mistakenly collides in front on this, 
All the seniors were looking at her like she has made a major mistake. After a while, Rachel Sr. says you should left the pod at home and shows her a cupboard having so many pods. There were the babies of the workers of this company, and the senior places Rachel's pod here saying that everyone come in the office to work, so mothers have to keep their bob eyes far. As we don't need such mothers who don't pay attention to their job, because this office was also an AI, so there was no value of human emotions. After a couple of days, they have to bring their pod to center for checkup. One day, Rachel again sees a dream in which she was holding her baby and was wandering in sand near the seashore. She hugs the baby and feels good because of this emotion. But then she wakes up and she understands that she is also connecting with the baby and she will have to take help from nature in this. She goes to the greenhouse made in her house and starts smelling the trees. Then she brings a pot inside. Her husband feels good when he sees her doing this. Her boss once again stops her when she was going to office and starts asking what is the matter? Why the work has slowed down from your end? You are slow in inventing AI, is your baby fine? Or are you upset because of him? Rachel feels strange hearing this and understands that her boss will never be happy whatever she do, because she needs such robots in human getup who does work all the time while placing their emotions aside. The time passes, and their baby is now of eight months. They were happy and asked to take the pod home to spend more time. But Linda refuses while saying, sorry, this isn't possible, because we train baby's brain and body after this stage, actually. We also do a research here, and for this, the data is taken from baby's brain that will be helpful in our research. Rachel gets shocked to hear this and says, but I didn't agree for such training, and how can you do this with my baby without my permission? Linda says, while smelling all this was in your contract, that you signed it was written clearly that we also do research here. And now we will not allow you to take the baby because we deliver the baby a few days before time means he will be taken out of the pod after his birth. We need pods since we have a long list of ladies waiting for their turn to give birth. Now they have to agree even they don't want to. With the passage of time, Rachel understands that all this was a trap this was to trap her. She was asked to have a baby artificially for promotion because in this way they will do their research and their company will get funds form the government and the other companies. They come home and were sad, but her husband will not stop. He comes to the center and secretly picks his baby's pod, then take it home secretly. Now now they were happy to get their baby back, but this night Rachel sees a dream in which her baby is born and she is shopping in a mall for her baby. She wakes up and says to her husband, I do agree with you. I also don't want my baby to grow up in this world, but I want to grow my baby up naturally as well as you want. They decide to go to their village house far from the city. Everything is still natural there, but before this, her husband goes to talk to Linda for the last time. He says, take more money from us, but baby should be born after nine months, but she refuses. That's why they think think it is okay to move to the village house and move on the journey the next day. It was a long journey, and they enjoyed it. Later they reached their village house and spent a few days here. Now nine months were completed. They see the baby is moving upside down in the pod. This makes them happy because the baby will be born at any time. But suddenly the pod system turns off that night. Rachel gets panic, but her husband relaxes her that don't worry, this pod keep on working for two days without energy, and baby will be born at any time. The next night, when they were sleeping, suddenly, voices come from the pod that means it was the delivery time, and the baby will be born, and will come out of the pod for this. They have to insert a code which they don't remember. Rachel becomes worried, but her husband uses his mind and carefully breaks the upper part of the pod and takes out the baby. They become happy to see the baby because their baby was born safely. This was an emotional scene, as they were crying because they had finally become parents today. They had a son, now they attempting to live their lives as they did before the advanced world, without machines. After a few days, Rachel packs the pod and sends it back to the center. The family was finally complete, so they lived contentedly in the splendor of nature, away from advanced technology. Here concludes this movie.